Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this pick a card we're going to find out what will happen in the next months. This pick a card is timeless so depending on when you're watching this video just count the next month prediction. So together we're going to find out what will happen in the next month. Keep in mind this is a general reading and for private reading the link is down below. Now I want you guys to focus and concentrate and choose between group number one which is the flower of life. Group number two, green adventuring. Group number three, clear course. And group number four, carnelian. Pause the video if you need, like I said before, and the timestamps are going to be down below in the info box. I'm going to move ahead for those of you guys who choose pile number one, the flower of life. What will happen in the next month? All right, group number one, let's get started. What we have for you, I'm gonna start with the tarot and we're gonna move ahead with the prediction. Now, let's see the tarot. We have nice, the two of cups being here for you. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I hope you guys can see the cards. I'm gonna push the other piles a little bit like this so you guys can see it. So we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups for me symbolizes new love for the majority of you. Probably the people that have chosen this pile are singles or I am looking for love. If you guys have a crush or perhaps you are already a couple, the Two of Cups indicates that your prominent relationship is going to become even stronger. The Two of Cups is in general a card of love, a card of love for what you're doing. So if you're not asking about love, perhaps the next month will be be all about what you love to do, all about your purpose, and that is because you are following what you love right now in the present moment. But we also have the two of coins or the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. These two cards we have two two. So two two, in my opinion, in angel numerology, means you are on the right path, or perhaps you could be a life path also number twenty two, and therefore you have a mission here on this planet to build something that will share love and light to the world. But with the Two of Pentacles, this indicates that in this period, before these new months that are going to come, it is required of you to make a decision. But moreover, it is a decision that is based on balance. Maybe you have more than one talent. You don't know exactly what to choose. Maybe you're choosing between one or more individuals. Or maybe you're just in doubt that you're going to manifest love. Or perhaps all of these things together. Now with the two of pentacles, these cards are inviting you and the angels are inviting you to find clarity within yourself. Maybe through meditation, maybe through going outside in the park. Now I don't know because the lockdown for us is finishing today so I don't know what you guys, but probably in the next months you will have the ability to go out for a walk and we connect with nature. However, and whenever you're watching this video, the Two of Pentacles is about rebuilding balance with yourself. And with the Two of Cups is also about listening to your guidance system and following love because indeed you're never ever wrong when you follow love. Definitely on a prediction wise, if you're going to balance your inner aspects in this period, the next months are going to bring you so much love and abundance in all of the aspects of your life. Now, I'm also seeing that you guys are emotionally very sensitive right now, but maybe with your sensitivity is bringing you also psychic abilities. In fact, we do have the cards or you are profoundly clairvoyant. So for some of you, it might be the next month that will bring you a new career, maybe a career that it will be more spiritual, clairvoyant, psychic, tarot reading might be involved, or maybe you're going to develop even more your psychic ability and therefore your sensitivity will be utilized for your life purpose and to give a service to others. So even though you might be a natural empath and a very sensitive person, it is important that you allow these uh, psychic abilities or extrasensory abilities to be part of you and not to be accursed and find balance within the use of the psychic abilities and your emotional life as well. Because in my opinion, group number one, I feel that the next months are going to 
be very active when it comes down to work and very active in the discovery of yourself, your sensitivity, and how that is a gift to the world. Therefore, right now, what you're called to do is to find balance within. The more you will find groundness and balance within, the more you will be able to utilize your inner your inner psychic abilities for the betterment of this world, which could also be your purpose. But moreover, the card of clairvoyancy is letting me know, especially with that two of pentacles, that you guys need to follow your inner guidance system. Because what with that two two, the angels are in your soul as well, is trying to communicate with you what is the right path to choose. And for example, if you are indecisive between one path or another or one person or the other, this is the time not to necessarily overanalyze the situation, but rather following your dreams, following your sensitivity, following the feminine aspects of you, that of the high priestess that knows where to go because it's connected with the universe. This is the time to capitalize on love and follow your dreams, hopes, and desires and create perhaps a new path for your life because very soon in the next few months, you're going to be very, very busy making decisions and following your heart's desires. I am also seeing the card of vibration. This card lets me know that this is a time for you and in the next month to capitalize on how you feel. The prominent aspects that will come upon in the next few months for you, it's to raise your vibration because you will become probably a leader for some and you will be able to teach them as well how to raise their vibration. Therefore, it's fundamental that in the present moment, you embrace your psychic abilities and allow yourself to prioritize on how you feel because it's when you prioritize on how you feel that you can have your manifestation and moreover, you can move the ladder of vibration, meaning in other words, you can feel better about yourself and make your dreams and hopes a real tangible reality. I'm also seeing that the angels want you to know that everything is going accordingly to plan group number one and therefore there is nothing to worry about. There is divine order and again we do have another card of balance. So in the next month in my opinion what will happen? Well first of all energetically you will raise your vibration and you will feel a lot more energized. You will utilize your clairvoyant ability and will be very busy at work using your sensitivity in order to work with others in act of services. For some of you, I am seeing a change in career that is divinely guided and divinely orchestrated. For some others of you, I am seeing a new relationship coming your way. And as you guys probably know, this is a lot of things mixed up together. That's why having balanced and understanding that everything is happening in divinely order will keep you grounded and will keep you to, uh, you know, not feel feeling too overwhelmed about the millions of blessings that are actually coming in the next few months. We also have another card for you guys, number one, which is yes. As you can see, the universe is saying yes to your dreams and desires. So for example, if you have worked on a project or you always wanted to change job or perhaps a new love, or maybe you just click on this video because you want to know whether or not your manifestation are going to come in actuality. Well, the answer is yes, but I'm here to tell you more. The answer is yes also to anything that you're thinking right now. You must trust your inner guidance system because yes, indeed, your psychic ability and your third eye is wide open and there are so many blessings in divine order coming for you, group number one, in the next months. Now, I also have a more specific message for you guys, which is the message from Ra and the Rama deck. As you guys can see, I pulled for you group number one, the Ram card. This card indicates new birth and generally is a very auspicious card, but is of a preliminary nature, which indicates to be grateful about everyday beauty. Now, in my opinion, you are about to finish your transformation, group number one, and therefore having a new birth. Again, this could be a new job, a new you, a new belief system, a raise in vibration. With the flower of life, you will understand 
understand the connection of all things. You will probably have a new home or relocate in somewhere new. Everything will be transformed in your life in the next month. And you know that because the angels are giving you signs through your visions and clairvoyant ability. And especially, it's very important that you keep it balanced because your sensitivity could be all over the place. But one thing is sure, new things and new birth is about to happen. And for those of you guys, the group number one, who have clicked on this video because again, they are wondering whether or not their manifestation will come true because of their hard work, well, the new birth means that if you will keep pushing and working hard or perhaps just doing what you love with the two of cups, indeed, the answer is yes. I'm also seeing life path number four, which indicates that you guys have built a stronger foundation to have your manifestation and to see them in actuality. Therefore, you have to trust your purpose. You have to trust this path. You have to trust the fact that, that if you find balance and hope again, indeed, love will come into your life. Or moreover, in a much more general sense, because this is a general reading, uh, abundance will come to you and it will bring you a long-term reality in the next month. And again, with number four, a strong foundation that is rooted in higher vibrational energy. Now, I want to pull some more cards for you guys from my Nefertiti deck. So let's see if we have any additional message in the next month months for you group number one all right we have a lot of cards interesting well we have the seven of swords as you guys can see gemini libra or aquarius i hope the camera focus then we also have the moon card pisces and also sorry uh, cancer and we also have the taurus card the hero font so in my opinion this is a great period for you guys in the next few months because you are going to realize that the energy of the seven of swords that toxic energy that maybe sometimes you were trying desperately to achieve or to run um, to mm, to run not run from but you are actually moving towards the Seven of Swords energy. Maybe you wanted to take the shortcut sometimes, or maybe you were inspired by the wrong individuals, or maybe for some of you, you were in just in the wrong relationship or in a toxic relationship. And with the moon card, within the darkness, you're finally seeing the light of the moon shining clarity for you guys. Many tarot readers will say that the moon card is about hidden things and therefore is about lies. But in actuality, that cannot be far from the truth. I even explain it in my e-course called You Are the Oracle, where I teach you guys how to read tarot. The moon indicates that there is truth within the darkness, and it's up to the individual if he wants to follow the path of the moon, the path of the light within the darkness, or he wants to follow the dark side. Now, in my opinion, in the next month, you're going to realize the shortcomings and shortcuts are not part of your existence anymore, and therefore, you're in an seen every type of toxicity, whether this is coming from a relationship or whether this is coming from a job, a pattern of behavior. And with the moon, even though you don't know exactly where you're going, if you're going to follow your inner guidance system, you're going to follow the path of light. And with the year of fun, you will become the leader. You will become the spiritual teacher. You will become the person that will be recognized for spiritual integrity. You are group number one, a spiritual warrior. And because who have overcome possibly either a Saturn return or a dark night of the soul, or maybe for some of you, toxic relationship, you are now finally raising your vibration and you are appreciating with gratitude that every single day and the every step of the way that has led you so far and within the next few months, you're going to be showered by the universe in divine timing with blessings, gifts, new love, or maybe a new job that will be in perfect alignment with your true path. Long story short, to group number one, you are exiting the dark night of the soul. And finally, since starting now, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And in the next month, you will be showered, like I said before, in divine timing with balance and groundness with a lot of blessings. This is what I see for you, group number one. I hope the reading resonated with you and made sense. Let me know in the comment section down below. Share, like, and subscribe to have more Pika cards and videos like this. And for private reading, again, the link.
All right, group number two, green adventuring. Let's find out together what will happen in the next months, regardless of when you're watching this video. Keep in mind, by the time you're watching, count the next few months. And let's see what will happen according to the cards and my channeling abilities. We are gonna start with the tarot. Um, so, interesting. Well, we have already a number 11. The Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, with the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Together they form number 11. Something very big is about to happen in the next few months for you, group number two. Now, this is funny because it's very similar to group number one. It's just that group number one had number 22, and you guys had number 11. You could be, for example, a life path 11, or 11 is a significant number that you have been seeing in this month possibly if you're watching this video by the time that I'm posting it in this time of lockdown you know with your gut feeling that something new something exciting something so much better is about to come true and probably because the aces symbolizes new unexpected gifts from the universe this is something that you don't really expect maybe it's a relationship that you have given up on or maybe it's the dream job of your life Life that you have totally given up from or maybe it's just something that you don't expect but with the aces I really feel that good news is about to come true in your reality which is really amazing now I'm also seeing that this will be an emotional fulfillment of some sort which definitely for this, those of you who clicked on this video for asking about love could very much be new love for some for some others of you this could be a release of some sort that maybe even uh, going out again finding back your friends finding back passion with the ace of wands or maybe you have been fired from your job and now you're so worried well don't be too worried because in the next months i am seeing that you're definitely going to find a new job there is a new beginning taking place and that is because i feel you have also transformed in this period and you want new life you have set a rocket of desire to the universe and you ask the universe please give me a new thing I need a new thing I cannot work anymore the way I do I need a new relationship I don't want to be alone anymore whatever rocket of desire you have launched to the universe well in the next few months this desire that you have claimed it's going to come true so be open because it's going to come true in a very unexpected ways and in my opinion is because the universe has seen you guys being so tired of doing Doing the same thing over and over again to meeting the same relationships or maybe the same patterns in your job you need something more artistic you need something more creative and you want to be full of passion well the universe in the next few months is it bringing you exactly that now, in fact, I have the card of opportunity, if you guys can see it. It is very important that in this period, you mm, connect to a state of allowance. What does it mean to be in a state of allowance? To be in a state of allowance is to be open and release any expectation about the future. Rather than ask when or how your manifestations are going to come true or maybe your desires, try to stay open and allow the universe to bring you things not only a perfect timing but exactly things that are wilder than your imagination there are new opportunities and new door opening up for you in the next few months and the least thing that you want to do is to resist these new opportunities you probably also group number two are going to be showered in the next few months with financial abundance because you were in a vibration of lack for such a long time that now if you allow yourself to be in the state of allowance and receiving the financial abundance that the universe wants to give you you will be right at your door you know you can even win money so please try to release any expectation and let go a bit of your skepticism once in a while so you can understand how these two aces can become an actual and tangible manifestation in your actuality in your reality for some of you i am also seeing that you guys have a tendency to feel very nervous so the angels want you to know that you can communicate directly with directly with them and 
you can ask them to give you signs and clues about the new opportunities that are about to happen to you in the next few months. But seriously, how can you think that the angels can help you if you never ask their help? The angels have recognized your devotion, your hard work, even a bit of your skepticism. They know how intelligent and sharp you are. But now they want you to ask their help because you have to allow these opportunities to come into your life. Sit on a little bit of meditation, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, when you feel, or maybe before going to bed, and pray to the angels, pray to source energy, and say, I am ready to allow help to come through into my life. I don't want to be full of anxiety anymore. I don't want to be full of worry anymore. Please bless me and give me help. And the angels will reply to you. For example, if you're too skeptical about this reading and you don't think that, come on, is a general reading, this is never going to happen to me, try to ask the angels for specific signs in your life. Maybe you're saying, if this reading is true, I want to see number 11 or I want to see, I don't know, anything, a red car. I don't know, I'm just making it up. Try to ask the angels for specific signs and they will bring it on in your experience to validate this prediction and to validate the fact that indeed there is not only a new love and a new beginning, but moreover, new opportunities, possibly also financially and full of passion in the next months for you guys. I am also seeing that the majority of you has psychic abilities and your prominent psychic abilities is claircognizance, which is represented by a rainbow bridge, so you could also be rainbow children or one of the three waves of volunteers. This card is symbolized by Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that comes to you as they are answered to your prayers. As you can see, in these piles, we have a lot of emphasis on thoughts, ideas, and download coming from the angels and letting you know that your prayers are going to be answered. It's just a matter of time. And in actuality, the energies are working already behind the scene with these two aces bringing you the new beginning and manifestation that you want to experience. Now, let's talk about love because I have a very specific, specific card, which is the Twin Flame card as part for you, which I was a bit puzzled about. And also we have the card of trust. Now, in regards to the Twin Flame card, I am seeing that if you're wondering whether or not you're going to be in union with your Twin Flame or your ultimate soulmate, whatever label you want to, uh, stick to? Well, you will. If you don't know who this person is, you're definitely going to meet this person in the next few months. Or in general, if you are already in a relationship or you know this individual, indeed, this is another confirmation group number two that this is indeed your twin flame. And the answer actually to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship or a spiritual relationship, which in my opinion indicates that you guys in group number two in the next few months are destined to work with your twin flame, whether this is your friend or whether this is an actual lover, a husband or a wife. Your destiny is with this person that you are with or you know who this person is or very soon you will. Your destiny and your opportunities are entangled in this twin flame relationship. In fact, guys, I have a dedicated pick a card called What is Your twin flame mission because in all my twin mission is very embodied with the things that are going to happen also in the next few months so I will definitely keep an eye for that also we do have the trust card so like I was saying before if you feel in the present moment like nothing will happen in the future or in the next few months you just don't see it happening remember that your trust and optimism will allow you to have the best possible outcome and this is actually Actually, the toughest period for you guys because the things that are going to come in the next few months are really unexpected both in love and both in opportunities so this is the time to trust divine guidance to trust the angels to trust whoever you believe in trust 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 should be your motto I'm also seeing a very specific message actually too I have the card of beware for you in the Rama deck with true two signifiers number three 
three and number two. I'm gonna read it both for you guys. This is an indication of an initial conflict with negative forces that is one, but leads to greater challenges. Bad changes to good and a deceitful person approaches and misfortune. So the cards want you to know, group number two, that in the next few months, you have to be careful for a fake twin flame or a fake relationship, or you just have to be careful about the people that are going to approach you. I believe, group number two, that your opportunities will come from standing up for what you believe and actually from turning negative aspects of your life or situation into positivity. So if you will discern between the people that are honest with you and the people that are actually a true soul connection, if you will be able to trust your inner guidance system and allow the universe to give you these opportunities, but in a grounded and again, aware way, well, you will turn a negative situation into a win to win situation. The only thing that you have to do is to be aware. And how do you be aware? It's through your clear cognizance. It's through your ideas and downloads. It's through your feelings also. But honestly, every idea that comes from the angelic realm. Again, I do feel this prominent message for you guys, group number two, that the angels want to communicate to you guys because they want to steer you in the right direction. So for example, if you're seeing a lot of 11 11s, well, for sure, Sure, these are signs not only to see you in the right direction but also to let you know to be aware of certain individuals and to always take your time when you're meeting new people and to trust only people that are truly divinely guided maybe you can ask also a psychic of reading about this uh, this individual not me necessarily but anything that you want or look at your astrology chart one thing is to trust divine guidance and one thing is to trust people that don't have the best interest in you remember that your twin flame will never hurt you and will never be toxic so be aware of that but with that being said in my opinion in the next few months new unexpected opportunities especially financially are about to come into your life so new ventures emotionally and passionate one are gonna come so be aware be grounded and have fun in the next few months because it looks like your transformation it's about to rock the sky all right this is what i see for you group number two i hope the reading resonated with you comment down below to share your stories share like and subscribe also to see more pico cards and spiritual videos all right All right, let's move on for those of you guys who choose pile number three, the clear quartz. So what will happen in the next few months for you guys? Let's start out with the tarot and then we're gonna move our way with the prediction. First of all, I do see the page of cups for you guys, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So with the page of cups to me is an indication that in the next few months, first and foremost, you're going to regain your youthful spirit. There's something new about to happen in your life that has to do also with children possibly for some of you either your own or other people's children in your purpose or maybe has to do with just you regaining more creativity because the cups are all about emotion but as well as creativity and I apologize my table it's a bit bent and with the page of cups it could be again that a child or children are involved or that child to be honest could also be you like you healing some certain aspects of your inner child and therefore taking life a little bit more in a light way and again bringing more creativity to your purpose or maybe shifting your purpose into something that was a nine-to-five job but now it's a creative job it could be many things and why I'm saying creativity because I'm seeing a Cancerian card with the moon card the moon card is always associated with hidden things for some readers but in my opinion is to find the light of the end of the tunnel is to follow that creativity that world of imagination especially with the page of cups and with that cancer also following that intuition towards the light even though we do see two wolves so holding out the moon and being scary cancer knows where to go because it functions within the water and following its own sensitivity and the light of the moon finds its own path so for some of you this could be the end of your Saturn return 
return for some others of you this could be the end of the dark night of the soul in the next few months but moreover i feel for group number three it is about finding healing and clarity in your purpose and in your life in fact i am seeing this deep deep healing taking place with the moon card and also possibly uh, some revelation will come up to the surface in the next few months keeping in mind obviously this is a general reading but i see revelation truth coming to the surface with this moon card and you are going to regain your purity also in the next few months possibly for some of you this could indicate with the page of cups like a new lover coming through if you have clicked on this video as a single person and possibly this could be somebody younger than you or if it's not in age it's somebody that has a youthful spirit but obviously this is a very specific message so fit the message where it needs to fit also has an additional cards i do have the card of reconsider so in the next few months i feel that you will reconsider a lot of things about your life and especially this is coming from the sending point of healing your inner child and revealing a lot of truth about your life and the people around you because with the moon card like i said before you're following the path of your intuition and the more you're gonna follow this intuition the more new things like i said they were they are going to get revealed therefore i feel group number three the perspective that you're holding right now it's not going to be the perspective that you are going to have in the next few months and i apologize they are doing work in the street i am going to mute them as much as possible try not to hate me in the comment section but i have so many readings to do and i want to finish the reading as well so i apologize for the noise anyway like this noise it shall stop as your dark night of the soul will stop eventually and you will see when you will find the light at the end of the tunnel that you will reconsider a lot of things in your life from your patterns of behavior from the things that you have experienced in the past you will reconsider friends and relationship you will reconsider your job you will reconsider your look you will change drastically in my opinion but this will be a graceful change it's not going to be something like a tower moment where you are like destroying any Anything. I think that reconsider card it's about you finally finding clarity because of that page of cups now I'm also seeing that one of your purpose is to be a powerful light worker so there is no shadow of a doubt that you guys incarnated in this reality to share an incredible light it's just I feel group number three that something has annoyed you in this uh, very tough and challenging moment of your life which could be the signifier of this noise as well going on for the entire reading but I think that something and some people have annoyed you you had a certain belief system and you were very passionate about it but now you're reconsidering it like now you feel a little bit lost like do i even believe anymore in cards do i even believe anymore in light workers what am i actually doing over here well i feel that you are going to come out of it in the next months really victorious reconsidering each and every perspective but moreover coming with your own belief system that nobody can shake because it comes from your experience now the angels want you to know that it is safe for you to be powerful by the way and your spiritual power brings great blessing in love and service to the divine so potentially also in the next few months i am seeing that you're going to understand more your abilities and your powers and you're going to be able to spread them in a light and youthful way better than you could ever imagine before now for some of you this is also reconsider it like I said your career entirely so perhaps you have understood in this month and you will in the next few months that being a light worker doesn't necessarily mean to be on YouTube and doing tarot cards but could be something completely different it has to become an artist and a creative individual and therefore bringing beauty back into the world in a different way but in a way that makes you much more uplifting with the page of cups I am seeing a strong fifth house or your Jupiter being in there when Jupiter is in the fifth house it indicates that for you work needs to feel like pleasure like fun so you are going to reconsider this and you're going to align with something that makes you truly joyful rather than making you feel like is work 
Now, I'm also seeing past life issues. So like I said, I really feel that you have done a lot of healing, especially in regards of your patterns in a past life. Maybe for example, in a past life, again, if you believe that, if you don't believe in past life, that card indicates past experiences. So please fit the message where you need to fit. I know everybody has different beliefs, but with that card, in my opinion, you have understood that in a past life or as a past experience, you identified too much with your work or you were too much of a workaholic and you I feel group number three try to push too much to certain results it's almost like I feel an energy of a perfectionist like you were never satisfied but through this seek for per perfection you have cursed a little bit your creativity and now you're gonna come out of this dark phase reconsidering that in actuality your creativity is your greatest gift and therefore healing that work workaholic behavior healing that past experience and therefore also like we said before healing that inner child now I'm also seeing the card of traveling from my cosmic love oracle deck so hey I don't know when you're watching this video if you're watching this video by the time that I'm posting it I know we are all quarantined and for me, the lockdown is ending today, but I don't know about you. We don't know where we're gonna travel next, but we will, that's a fact. So I wanted to make this parenthesis, but I feel that one of your purpose and in the next few months, you are going to travel a lot and an exciting new journey is about to come true. And this will bring you the rewards that you wanted for a very long time, especially with this moon card. It's just that the angels are trying to let you know that the rewards for what you want couldn't come before because it was necessary for you to heal a certain patterns of behavior and reconsider the way you were doing things but more most likely reconsider your journey a little bit even doing a life review and through this life review having healing but no shadow of a doubt that in my opinion a relocation of a travel of some sort is going to come true in the next few months and this will be very important like almost like a major arcana card for the shift that it's about to happen in terms of reconsideration of your path and your goals in the next few months. I'm also seeing, in fact, that you are spreading your wings again. And this gives me the impression of a travel through airplane for some of you. Like you're really going where you are necessary. You're really going where you're meant to go. And this is all for divine purpose through the page of cups, through that moon, but through the card that says that you are a powerful light worker. You are meant to spread your wings in a different way. And finally, Finally, the thing that you are meant to do in this lifetime, it's about to come true. And finally, you will be released from this environment, work, relationship, but I'm, I'm not seeing relationship. For the people that want to know about love, group number three, I am seeing you love. Great, if you're single. If you're a couple, relationship is good. This is not why you clicked on this video. For those of you who are not interested in relationship, this is about your job your true purpose finally coming true with that spread your wings card because you were tired tired to do the same thing you want to be yourself you want to use creativity you want to enjoy a new excitement journey and actually i'm gonna tell you more if you guys are coupled this is a past life relationship and this is a soul connection so your husband wife or boyfriend or girlfriend whatever it is for you you are going to be with them for the long term this is something important for those of you who are coupled also as a last message i am seeing number three which is again a number of creativity and this is the card in the ram deck of opponents and conflict the seeds of conflict and deceit are planted hold to the truth and goodness now i am seeing that this is number seven for you an image of happiness gives strength so what does this card mean? In my opinion, with the moon card, is that you have understood who was deceitful for a, with you. You understood who doesn't need you. You understood where to go, or you will in the next few months. And therefore, I'm telling you, I bet that in the next few months, you will reconsider people, friendship and work and you will take a, a fresh breath can you say that in english and you will venture somewhere else somewhere far better than what you're doing right now it's just that with the moon card i feel that on an intuitional point of view 
you know where you want to go but practically you don't know how to do it you don't know how it's gonna come about well don't worry it's gonna come just utilize your creativity with this page of cups and your naivete to heal to know that you're spreading light and know that the inner conflict and conflicts are going to stop and very very soon in the next months you are heading to a whole better new journey and you will be able to spread your wings and feel free as you never felt for such a long time again seeing the light at the end of the tunnel the real light not anymore the light of the moon the moon is about to go down you're about to see the sun it's just it's not quite there yet but you're gonna see it through your healing of past issues within the next few months this is what i see for you group number three i hope the reading resonated with you and made sense keep in mind this is a general reading for private reading links down below share like and subscribe to have more videos and spiritual videos on this channel and thank you so much for your support all right let's move on for those of you guys who choose pile number four in the cornelian ancient scarab let's see together what will happen in the next few months we are going to start with the tarot and work our way up with the other cards well first of all we have the Leo card, the strength card. Well, something great is about to happen in the next few months, group number four. You're the last, but not the least. With the strength card, you have been strong. You have been a spiritual warrior. You have been courageous. Possibly your spirit animal, which I do have pico cards and videos about it, you can check on my channel, is your animal. Or maybe the lion is your totem animal. Or maybe you're fascinated with big cats. I don't know, it's up to you. Comment down below but one thing is sure you guys are strong as beep and therefore you deserve all the good stuff that are about to come true in the next few months i'm also seeing the queen of swords gemini libra or aquarius in the next few months you are going to really be the queen of your game and the strength card always reminds me of durga which if you're not familiar with who durga is she's an ancient hindu goddess that has as a vehicle not a car but a tiger or a lion therefore it, she tames the lion and the tiger in order to bring success to the person and in order to overcome much better negativity and evil forces this is exactly what you have done so far you have teamed down negative forces you have teamed down the evil within you and outside of you you have cut away things that just were cluttering your energetic field possibly even relationships or friends maybe you have fought your battles alone but because you stand your ground like a fierce lion in a compassionate way you have learned so much from yourself within the next few months you're gonna be at the top of your game you're gonna be that queen that entrepreneur possibly with that queen of swords utilizing her communication skills to bring even more strength to her or his purpose and bring what moreover success Exactly. I don't know each and every single of your life, but group number two for me in the next few months, what success is for you, it's going to come through. True. It's the time. It's the time for you to reap the rewards of what you have done. Like I said before, you're going to be at the top of your game. This could be success in regards to relationship. This could be success that comes from mind. So therefore, from an analytical way and a strategic way to bring success to your career, because the Queen of Swords is a very strategist. Uh, it's a very analytical card. It's a card that represents a person that uses marketing or strategy in order to win, and there's nothing wrong with that. If is that what you have done? It's because you have learned from your past experience. You have broke strength. This gives me like. The, the vibe of Tony Robbins I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tony Robbins as a life coach but he has this saying he has this teachings that he promotes which I quite agree with if you feel the something it's not working let's talk about maybe your business right 
Hold on. Rather than saying it's not meant to be and be part of that type of population, you figure out every possible thing that you can do to make it work out. Therefore, you make a crisis into an opportunity. And this is what I see that you have done group number four. I don't know why I was seeing group number two. I must have been fixated with number two today. So I am definitely seeing that you have put work and strategy and analytical thinking into what you're doing. And because of this reason, within the next few months, you're going to reap the success of, of what you have done so far, which is great. I'm also seeing that possibly you have to stand your ground with a strength card and many people might have abandoned you because of your belief system and point of view. Or maybe you had people saying, hey, I don't recognize you anymore. Who are you? And you're like, I've never been more than myself right now, but why then you don't accept me? You know, all those type of realization. And with the strength card, you have brought more strength to yourself. I feel for those of you guys who choose pile number four, it really gives me the impression that either you want to be self-employed, you are going to be self-employed in the next few months, or there is like a very strong queen attitude or king attitude of taking the lead of your life and knowing when you're going, uh, knowing where you are going. And that is why in the next few months, you are going to be successful. Now, the other other cards that I have for you guys is a very interesting cards because let's talk about this one first I have the clear your energy card so also this reminds me of the Queen of Swords within the next few months you're gonna see that a lot of people maybe this has already happened for the majority of you but a lot of people will fall away from you or just the law of attraction will put them away and will make you vibrate with certain other individual because what I feel from you group number four for is that you have cleared a lot of things whether this is physical space in your home you have revamped your look you have cleared your energetic field which I also talk about in my e-course down below co-creating your own reality on how to do it but you have done something that has cleared the energy out and if you're not doing it well you should because clearing your energy and patching the energetic leaks within your our body but moreover your energetic body will allow you and assure in the next few months this success that we are talking about i'm also seeing the card of take your power back exactly with that strength card either you are already doing it or you will do it in the next few months i'm definitely seeing that this success doesn't come out of a stroke of luck it comes from consistent strategy strategy analytical thinking and hard work but more Moreover, comes also from the fact that you have utilized energy cleansing it and therefore recycling it within your body to take your power back. You have understood that you are the master of your own reality. And if you have been down quite a while, you have put yourself back into alignment, which is the only thing that matters. And now that you are in alignment, success is guaranteed in the next few months, or you're definitely uh, invited to do so. But success about what? Well, for some of you, this is what I'm seeing. I am seeing that you are going to become a singer, a dancer, or an entertainer of some kind, or possibly singing and dancing will be your state. I wanted to do in fact a pico card called when is the next time that you're going to sing with joy? Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see it because in my opinion this success is so um, it's made of your hard work and your desires and especially something that you wanted for such a long time that you have let go of it but finally finally you're gonna sing and dance with joy when it's gonna come now possibly for some of you like I said before you could be really artist it could be that definitely you're gonna become singers or dancer or performers of any kind so I wanted to bring this message also for those of you guys who will resonate with the singing and dancing card in a much more literal way now in terms of what you should do now in order to pass this next few months and to be hopeful about it well the angels are advising you to put all of your desires in a god box what does it mean now this could be literally you are taking in a box and you're putting and writing down a letter to god or to source energy whatever name you prefer to the universe and saying out loud your desires you write them down and you burn them and you let them go 
doll but this could be also figuratively, uh, figuratively meaning that you guys are letting it go you're not attached anymore you will probably even for some of you are in that phase where you're like listen I, I did everything I could I strategized I'm gonna give up on it whatever I am happy even if this success doesn't come boom and that's why in the next few months it's definitely gonna come you are so strong you're so courageous so bold that it has to come and I feel that the more you're gonna let it go through the universe the more you're gonna see it happening on a day-to-day -day basis now as a last card and a specific message I have from the Ram, Ram deck the great reign of Rama return something is returning to your life this card is very auspicious and is happiness that follows successful end of a great quest and your specific message is embodied in number seven the um the sound of creation what you have created is going to come true is already there energetically is just about to get manifested in the next few months and with number seven we see the message of acclaim the victorious journey of the hero and guess what the hero is you you are going to be recognized the group number four you are going to be acclaimed now this could be some project that you've been working on or this could be even for some others of you a project a dream that you thought will never come true boom and all of a sudden returns into your life and indeed it's gonna come true so what is gonna come in the next few months you regaining recognition success but moreover taking your power back so well done group number four this is what I see for you now if you want a private reading the link is down below comment to share your story share like and subscribe to have more videos and pick up cards but especially spiritual videos because I have so many titles that I want to do on this channel for you guys now thank you so much for being here with me today i hope the video and the reading resonated with you again subscribe to this channel to have more videos comment down below and interact in the comment section because i always read all of your comments and i also reply when i have time obviously because you guys are so many and keep in mind you're never wrong if you fall in love bye